just let us know. Yep. <laughs> Great. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Heartland Church and Hi. our midweek service here on Wednesday night. Woo. Coming to you from Tawny Town, Arkansas. Woo. Woo. And uh, we've got a, uh, a, a faithful gathering here tonight, the faithful few, and uh, I know many more are watching at home. So uh, yes. we uh, apologize for starting late. We were having a few technical issues, but uh, we think we got those worked out now. Thanks to our AV crew. Yeah. And um, anyway... Uh, yeah, we're going to get started uh, singing tonight, and uh, we're going to do a lot of singing tonight. Uh, we're going to talk about a scripture that I think will really help us uh, just in our daily walk with God and, and things, uh, just the simple things that we can do. And uh, we were uh, hoping to have a couple videos, but those uh, that's what, what our technical <laughs> issues were. Uh, but we're also going to have some time to pray. So uh, let's Amen. start off singing He Reigns. Song of the redeemed, rising from the African plain. It's the song of the forgiven, drowning out the Amazon rain. The song of Asian believers, filled with God's holy fire. It's every tribe, every tongue, every nation. Love song born of a grateful choir. It's all God's children singing glory, glory. Hallelujah, He reigns. He reigns. It's all God's children singing glory, glory. Hallelujah, He reigns. He reigns. So let it rise above the four winds, caught up in the hand. To the faithful gathered underground Of all the strong sons from the dawn of creation Some were meant to persist Of all the bells run from a thousand steeples None rings truer than this It's all God's children singing glory, glory yeah, he reigns, he reigns, it's all God's children singing glory, glory, hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns, it's all God's children singing glory, glory, hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns, it's all God's children singing glory, glory, hallelujah, he reigns. Cause all the powers of darkness can't drown out a single word. It's all God's children singing glory, glory. Hallelujah, He reigns. He reigns. It's all God's children singing glory, glory. Hallelujah, He reigns. He reigns. It's all God's children singing glory, glory. Hallelujah, He reigns. He reigns. It's all God's children singing glory, glory. Hallelujah, He reigns. Amen. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. The 
Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the joy of the King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of the King. songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the joy of the King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. Oh, just be together tonight, mm -hmm. whether it's in person mm -hmm. or whether you're at home watching along. And uh, we do want to let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Sure. And um, I, I pray as we sing tonight, maybe just close your eyes at times and sing out to God. Forget about everything else going on and just focus on the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I pray that we, we can see it. We can feel Amen. it. Not in some kind of weird way, but just we, we feel God's glory among us. And uh, we're going to have a great time tonight. We're going to sing a lot. Uh, we're going to just have a great time together. So, so we want to encourage you, if you're at home, just sing in your living room. <laughs> I know it can feel awkward sometimes. It can feel weird. But just sing and praise our great God tonight. We know there's a lot going on. We know the holidays are coming up. It's all going to look a little bit different. But we just want to praise our God tonight. So we're glad you're here. We're glad you're joining us at home online. And uh, we're just grateful to be able to sing and praise our God. Amen. And I want to bring you guys greetings from the church, uh, the other churches in the Heartland region. Amen. Uh, the last three days, I've had the chance to uh, just gather with a few of those ministers, and uh, we tried to keep our distance as much as we could. But, um, you know, churches from St. Louis and Omaha, Little Rock, um, Kansas City um, via phone, um, Columbia, Missouri, and Springfield, Missouri, and Wichita, and uh, we're so grateful for all of our, our fellowship of churches around the world, uh, but you know, it was a great time with just the church leader men um, gathering together to really dream and Amen. think about, man, what can we do, and I know right now it's, it's kind of <laughs> hard to think about what can we do. We don't, we don't know what we can do, but uh, there's so many things that God has in store for us, mm -hmm. and um, so we're just excited for that, but let's go to God in prayer, and then we're going to continue singing. Our Father, we thank you so much for tonight. Thank you for our health. 
God, uh, and whatever that may be for us at different times, God, we're grateful for what you give us. God, you, you breathed life into us. And God, we're grateful for that breath, God, for the spirit that you breathed into us. And uh, God, we pray tonight that we can breathe out that spirit as well in song, in prayer, um, in our thoughts, God, that everything we do tonight will bring glory to you, God, that we really can see the glory of the Lord among us. And uh, God, we love you. Uh, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for Jesus and just his sacrifice for us, God. Help us to never take that for granted. Help us to never let it become um, just something that we, we, we kind of know, but we don't really live uh, for and we don't really think about. But uh, God, we're grateful for the cross, grateful for the resurrection, Father, grateful that we can live resurrected lives right now and that one day we'll live in, in a resurrected form as well, God. Uh, we love you. We pray all this in your son's name. Amen. 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 When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. I will dance, I will dance, I will dance like David Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will pray like David prayed. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray like David prayed. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray like David prayed. Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will fight like David fought. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will fight like David fought. Jesus love when the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart I will love like Jesus love I will love I will love I will love I will love, I will love like Jesus love I will love I will love I will love, I will love, I will love like Jesus love
Well, we're going to sing an old uh, gospel hymn now, or gospel, uh, gospel song. And uh, I want you to think about the day that you made Jesus Lord. Amen. The day that you went down into the waters of baptism. Uh, the day that you came up resurrected. And uh, we're going to sing about it. We're going to sing, I've Been Redeemed. Well, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed. By the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed. By the blood of the Lamb. Filled with the Holy Ghost, I am. All my sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. Oh, yeah. Well, I went down. Well, I went down. To the river to pray. To the river to pray. Well, I went down. Well, I went down to the river to pray. Well, I went down to the river to pray. Felt so good that I stayed all day. All my sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. Oh, yeah. That's not all. Well, that's not all. There's more besides. There's more besides. Well, that's not all. Well, that's not all. There's more besides. Well, that's not all. There's more besides. I've been to the river and I've been baptized. All my sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. Oh, yeah. Well, all my sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. Oh, yeah. I said my sins, sins are washed away. I've been redeemed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Amen. Please grab a seat. And uh, if you're with us at home or here in person, if you have a Bible, go ahead and turn over to Romans chapter 12. I want to read a little verse for us here. Let's see, it's a big verse. <laughs> it's only two, two verses, but it's big. Romans 12, and Paul tells the church here, he says in verse 1, Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And just some, some powerful words here from Paul. But, you know, he starts off, he says, therefore, I urge you. He's like, you got to do this. If, if you don't do anything else, do this. I'm urging you to do this. And he says, in view of God's mercy. Just, just stop for a minute. And, and, you know, mercy, we talk about mercy and we talk about grace. And grace is, are these undeserved gifts, things that God just gives us that we didn't deserve. And mercy is when God doesn't give us what we do deserve. So we sin. You know, we know uh, earlier in Romans, Paul says the wages of sin is death. death. That, that's what we deserve. That's what we've earned. What the wages we have coming is death. But he says the gift of God is eternal life. And, and here Paul says, so in view of God's mercy, because God has been so good to you, because God just, just wiped away your debt, he says, offer your bodies as living sacrifices. He doesn't say offer yourselves so that you can earn God's grace and you can earn God's mercy. So he says, no, because you can see God's mercy and what he's done for you, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. And then he says, this is your spiritual act of worship. And, you know, I think sometimes I've been a worship leader for a long time. <laughs> and uh, we, we can talk about what we've been doing, the singing and, and praying and, and even reading scriptures. Man, that's our worship. You know, we have our worship services. But really, he says, our spiritual act of worship is us offering ourselves to God in view of his mercy. And so I want to encourage all of us that, that we really take that mindset that everything we do is worship to God. Amen. When Jim goes to work and he's crawling in somebody's attic or, or writing up the forms or whatever, when Scott's down doing what he does at the base, nobody knows and he can't tell us, but <laughs> wh whatever it is that you do, do it for God. That's your spiritual act of worship because you're offering yourself. 
You're being an example to your coworkers, an example to your family, an example to your kids. If you're at school, getting good grades, that's a spiritual act of worship. Obeying your teachers, it's a spiritual act of worship. Because you're offering yourself to God. You're saying, hey, I'm not living for myself. I'm living for God. Amen. You know, even, even when we share our faith with others, you know, we, we have other coworkers or friends or family, and we, we tell them about Jesus. That's our spiritual act of worship. We're offering ourselves. I don't like doing that. I know. you got to <laughs> offer your body as a sacrifice, Amen. a living sacrifice. Amen. And then he goes on in verse 2 there. He says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And, you know, it's interesting because he's writing to Christians here. He could have just said, oh, yeah, you guys know you, you don't live that way anymore. He goes, no. He goes, do not conform any, any longer. longer. That, that makes, makes me think, think that, that they, they were conforming, conforming longer, longer, right? right? Mm -hmm. and, and isn't it true for us that we can begin to conform to the pattern of this world? I mean, I mean we, we see it that this recent election cycle. We saw so many people just conform to the patterns of this world and, and do or say things or act in ways that, that it's just like, man, that's the pattern of the world. He says, don't conform to that any longer. The things we watch on TV, the things we listen to on the radio, are, are we conforming to the world? Are we just trying to blend in to the world? And, you know, we can say, well, yeah, we got to be all things to all men. And that, that's true. But are you conforming to the pattern of the world? He says, don't do it any longer. He says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. And, you know, repentance is not just a thing that we did when we were baptized, right? Man, it's a continual thing. I've been, it'll be coming 30 years now that I've been a Christian, and I'm not done repenting yet. I know. That's longer than Josh has been alive. I'm not done repenting. I don't think I'm ever going to. I know I will never be done until I'm with Jesus in heaven. Amen. So we got to continually transform and renew our minds as we see those patterns of the world creep into our lives. So think about right now what patterns of the world are involved or are active in your life. What do you need to transform? Renew your mind. Doesn't mean you're going to be perfect, right? We're never going to get there until we get there. <laughs> but we can renew our minds. And he goes, then, this is the part I love, he goes, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And don't you want to know God's will for your life? Don't you, you ever wonder that, you know, God, what do you want me to do here? What's your will for me? What's your will for me today? What's your will for me this year? None of us knew what his will was for 2020, right? I mean, if you knew that, man, you knew something none of the rest of us knew. <laughs> But what is God's will? He says, when you renew your mind, when you stop conforming to the world, he goes, then it's going to be clear. God's will, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And I think too often we want God's will to fit in to the conforming that we've been doing, right? Yeah. Well, I've been living this way, and God's will just needs to fit into what I'm comfortable with. Yeah. He says, no, get rid of that stuff. Right. Renew your, transform by the renewing of your mind, and then you will see God's will in your life. And so just a few things for us to think about, but, but take these to heart, and I pray that for the rest of this week um, and, and for, for the rest of this life that we can live this way, that we, that we get rid of those worldly things, that we offer our bodies as spiritual sacrifices, and that we see God's will in our life. Amen? Amen. At this time, we're going to pray. Josh is going to pray I'm for gonna us. pray. And uh, we'll continue singing. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father... Thank you so much for, for giving us the opportunity to renew our minds. Uh, it's so uh, easy to see how, how this world can be pervasive in the way that it thinks and, and can conform us and we can conform to, to its patterns. But Father, we, we don't deserve the incredible blessing of being able to come back from that. Uh, and yet you choose uh, to offer us a way to be renewed. Uh, to change, to, to turn back to you, back to, to better, back to healthy uh, in our minds. And, and Father, I pray that we can take that uh, chance, take that opportunity that, that you've offered to us and, and choose you again and again and again. Uh, Father, because none of us are done repenting. Uh, and, and Father, we're all here uh, to worship. Amen. So grateful for, for everybody here in person and tuning in. But, but Father, help us to worship you all the time. 
uh, to worship you with the way that we live, the way that we talk, the way that we act, uh, all the things that we do, whether we're at church or we're tuning into church or uh, we're, we're, you know, it's just a Monday and we're spending time doing this or that or going about our everyday lives, Father. So uh, we love you and we want to lift up our bodies to you as a sacrifice, a living sacrifice that you have chosen to allow us to, to be kind of your agents here, uh, almost maybe even against the darkness of this world. Uh, we love you so much, and, and Father, I pray that we can just dwell uh, in in you for this time and, and be inspired to really live that out, uh, being renewed uh, every day. We love you. Pray all this in your son's name. Amen. 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 Let's stand and sing. Your river runs with love for me And I will open up my heart And let the healer set me free I'm happy to be in the truth And I will daily lift my hands For I will always sing of When your love came down I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I can sing of your love forever Over the mountains and the sea Your river runs with love for me And I will open up my heart And let the healer set me free I'm happy to be in the truth And I will daily lift my hands For I will always sing of When your love came down I can sing of your love forever I can sing of your love Forever, I can sing of your love. Forever, I can sing of your love. Forever, no, I feel like dancing. It's foolish, I know. But when the world has seen the light, they will dance with joy, like we're dancing now. Yeah. I can sing of your love forever. 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 I can sing of your love forever.
nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. Death could not hold you, the veil tore before you, you silenced the boast of sin and rain. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you are raised to life again. You have no rival, you have no now and forever, God, you reign. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the name above all names. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my what a powerful name it is, nothing can stand against, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for each and every voice that you have given us. And thank you for just giving us the ability to praise you. I pray that each and every person here just and online, um, that they just lift their voices up to you and just are reminded of how amazing you are. We can forget that sometimes when things aren't going exactly how we want them to and how we saw them to, especially right now. And so... Um, even with just the things ramping up the way that they are, we are still so grateful to be your children and yes, that, so grateful that you chose us to be able to see um, the light and see to be able to walk towards you. So I pray that we continue walking towards you despite all the darkness around us and that we just continue um, to be grateful for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
His kingdom is our own. We bow before His heavenly throne and pledge our lives to His great cause to seek and save the lost. And everywhere, in every word, we share with all who have not heard about the truth that sets men free. Promise long to see that would be great among the nations. Among the nations, of us fire from us. Great among the nations, bring it right to the top. Right to the top, bring salvation. Salvation. sing the Spirit's fire.
Well, we're so grateful that you have been with us tonight, whether online or here. And um, I just wanted to go over a few announcements. Um, Katie will be sending it to you. If you have not gotten in your email yet, you'll get the announcement sheet from this last Sunday. There are a lot of people to keep in your prayers and a lot of places to keep in your prayers. And um, so please just look at that because there's a lot. And then I need to grab this real quick. Um, oh, I wanted to remind everybody about our Hope Project coming up for Christmas. So Hope Worldwide, um, you've probably heard me talk about it before, but we are going to do um, one of those book bags for kids, um, 10 boys, 10 girls, ages third through fifth grade. So this Sunday, you can start picking up a book bag. I'll have you sign up for one of those boys or girls. If your family, if your household, whoever wants to do it, and we just want to stuff these bags full for these kids this Christmas. So uh, we'll have 20 bags available, first come, first serve. <laughs> and uh, we're just grateful. I know that you guys are going to knock it out of the park. I know that everybody here is going to want, and, and maybe we can get more if we need them, but um, we're definitely doing 20. Again, so be looking for all the sales right now. Anna is our sale queen, um, and she'll find all the good deals. Um, anyway, so for boys and girls, you can pick a boy or a girl, third through fifth grade. That's who you're going to buy for and give to, um, and we're really excited about that HOPE project. Um, so again, a ton of prayer requests. One more to add, um, where Astrid is from. Some of you know Astrid. Uh, Nicaragua got hit by a major hurricane um, a couple days ago. And last time I talked to her, her family was okay. They were on the opposite side of the coast. But just keep praying for them. Um, I don't know about our brothers and sisters there, how it affected the church. So just pray for that as well. Amen. Uh, one quick other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, it's Denny's birthday today. So uh, I want to wish Denny Johnson a happy birthday. And also yesterday was my mom's birthday. Uh, she's um, probably so watching. <laughs> Mom and Denny are the same age. They're 37. Uh, and I want to wish like both of them a happy birthday today. Uh, but we got one more song. And uh, you got to kind of let go on this one. All right. So uh, we're going to close it out tonight with Hail, Line of Judah. <laughs> Hail, hail, line of Judah. Hail, hail, line of Judah. How wonderful you are. How wonderful you are. Oh, hail, hail, line of Judah. Hail, hail, line of Judah. How wonderful you are. to 
night, everyone. We'll see you on Sunday.